Hi, this is Danny Beaumont with the Adobe Muse team. In this video series, I'm going to teach you how you can build out a website without writing any code using Adobe Muse in the Creative Cloud. Now to get started, let's take a look at the design that we're going to build together. We're working on this fictitious bakery called Katie's Cafe and Bakery. And with the site, we've got a number of nice elements here. One thing you'll notice is there's navigation up at the top of the page. I'll show you how you can build out that navigation. We've got a background image here that as I scale my browser, it grows the background image to fill up the space. We've got different elements here, typographic elements and graphic elements. Down towards the footer, we have the ability to download a PDF file. We can jump over to the contact page where I'm going to show you how you can embed an interactive map and also add a contact form to your design. And then finally, I'll show you how you can publish out the site using a variety of different hosting solutions. So before we get too far into the process, what I'd like you to do is go ahead and download the Starter Muse First Site demo asset file. You'll want to decompress that file, and in the folder, you'll see a series of files that are here. So there's an assets directory where we have images that I'd like to use, to use as part of the project. We've also got some starter files. So if you pick up in the middle of this tutorial, you can just take the next file in the sequence and catch up with where I am in the design. Now, for the next step, what I'd like you to do is open up this file here, the CC Getting Started Katie's.MooLib file. That's a Muse library file. When you open it up, it's going to not only open Muse, but it'll install those library items into the application so we have it available for our design. Okay, here I am in Adobe Muse. I've opened up the application and the library was automatically imported. I can tell because I see a message here, imported eight library items. I'll go ahead and click OK. And let's go to the next step in this series where you can come in and start to define your sitemap. 